Hi, welcome and I hope you're doing well. Here I have the iPhone 11 Pro Max. As you can see that the front glass screen is cracked. And in this video here, I'll be doing a step-by-step -step on how to replace the cracked screen. So if you're watching this video because your iPhone is cracked, then please click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell. So the first thing I like to do is to turn off the phone. And there's a two screws at the bottom here. Go ahead and remove the two screws. I will link the tools in the description below. You can buy them from Amazon or eBay, as well as the replacement screen. Alright, once the two screws are removed, I'm having the metal prying tool. I'm sticking in between the iPhone screen and not too deep, just right by the tip, enough to cut the adhesive. So this iPhone 11 Pro Max, there comes with the water resistant seal, meaning that there's this adhesive tape right all along the phone where it prevents the dust and also prevents the water going into the phone. So in order to remove the glass, you actually need to cut the adhesive, that seal, to be open. Once you have the adhesive being cut, you want to flip the phone to your right, it will open up at this position. Now at this point right here, I'm holding the phone screen at about 90 degree angle. And the first thing I like to do is to remove the bracket. And this bracket right here runs on the Y screwdriver. So they are tri screws, and you need to use a tri screwdriver, or we call the Y screwdriver, to remove the screws. The screws are not the same, so make sure uh, the length of the screws are not the equally the same. So make sure you're not mix matching the screws. So once you remove the six screws, technically the bracket is ready to come right off. At this point here, what you want to do is you can go ahead and disconnect the, um, not, not yet to disconnect anything. Uh, let's go ahead and remove this bracket as well. So this is the battery, let's go ahead and disconnect the battery first. I'm using a plastic prying tool, stick it underneath and just flip it up. And right now we can go ahead and disconnect the cable. This is for the screen and this is for the digitizer. And this one right here is actually for the proximity sensor and the ear speaker cable. Now once you remove or disconnected the three screens, your iPhone screen is able to be detached. At this point here, what we like to do is to transfer the proximity sensor and the speaker here over to the new screen. So this runs on a Phillips screw, so it's a plus, both of them from the top and bottom. And on the top left corner here is actually a tri screw. We use the Y screwdriver to remove it. Now, if you pay attention closely, that the proximity sensor mounting bracket here is with a plastic uh, pre install bracket. Now, I would like to go ahead and tuck underneath, including this plastic, and remove all together in one big piece. If you want to just remove the proximity sensor, by all means, you can do that as well. So if you stick it all the way underneath, as you can see, and just be gently, do not break anything, and we want to remove the entire piece altogether here. I know that the new screen does comes with it,
Okay, so I know that the new screen does comes with the bracket, but since we already removed entirely, I can just transfer this whole proximity sensor and the ear speaker over to the new screen. So make sure that the sensor here is flat against with the plastic and I'm ready to remove this pre-install bracket. All you have to do is just align the screws here on the top left and the other two plus screw on the on the right side. Just make sure you align them in the right position and go ahead and put the two screws back on. Sorry, the three screws back on. By transferring the proximity sensor, it will not disable your face ID or it will not change anything about the face ID. The face ID will stay the same because the face ID is coming from the phone itself on this camera right here. It's not this proximity sensor. This this here is actually for the ear speaker and the sensor. That's, that's pretty much it. Now this Y screw is pretty tiny and hard to go back in. Just be patient. You find the right spot and you can actually f screw it back in. Now go ahead and start connecting the um, cable all back together. So they're kind of like a Lego, it snaps on. So make sure you find the right spot and once it's in, once the other spot is in the right position, you can just press it and it will snap back in automatically. Do not really use the force, do not force it in because it doesn't take a lot of strength to install the cable. Okay, once you have the uh, three flex cable installed, and I'll go ahead and install the battery back together. Put the bracket back on to cover up the battery connector while I'm still holding onto the screen. Make sure you do not let the screen to fall. because when the screen fall, you might stretch the cable and get cut. So just keep holding on to the screen. All right, so the next step I like to do is to put this main bracket and this main bracket holds on to all the cables have them aligned in the right position and slowly find the screw and go ahead and put the screws back on so this is the most tidiest job Okay, so once I have the uh, all the screws installed, the next step the next step is to turn on the phone and give it a try. Make sure the screen is good and the touch screen is good as well. So let's go ahead and finish up the two screws.
okay everything is in now at this point I like to make sure that you might want to slide the top here first because this this metal bracket is the one that latch onto the top so you want to slide the top in first at at an angle and then go ahead and crunch it down after okay now before I put the two screws back at the bottom here I like to turn on the phone and make sure I can see that the screen is working and also the touch screen so let me tilt the phone at a certain angle because there is a, a kids picture here in the front I would like not to expose them on the internet so let me have the phone on the side until I see the uh, login screen all right so there you go this is the login screen I can tell that the numbers are working and the touch are working as well so this is pretty much it and do not forget the two screws at the bottom here if you like the video please give me a like and subscribe to the channel and if this video helps you to fix your phone if you're able to follow along and get the phone repair please comment below and tell me your result and tell me how did you repair your phone i like to hear and read your comment and how you did it all right thank you for watching until next time please take care